Hey guys, good morning. Uh, it's 8.45, I'm making some breakfast. Blueberry pancakes because I think I told you guys this over the weekend, which we weren't eating regular food over the weekend, or at least on Sunday. I wanted to make blueberry pancakes because I had um, some Kodiak cake waffle pancake mix, but I also had blueberries that I wanted to use up. So that is what I'm doing right now. I have my mix. Here, all it is is just mix and water, and then I put blueberries in it. And I'm probably gonna make enough to use up the rest of these blueberries. It is September 25th, so I have five days left of shell timber. And honestly, I probably could go a little bit longer, especially because we've been eating different kinds of food than regular food, like especially me and Autumn. So, I don't know, we'll kind of have to play it by ear. Costco's having lots of good sales as of the second, so I may just have to break my shelf temper and go back to regular cooking, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know, um, got everyone dropped off at school. Autumn's actually going to go to school today. She is gonna be a little bit late because we wanted to see how her morning went and everything was nice and regular, so she's going to school today, so. <laughs> make some pancakes and then get about my day hey guys so i'm headed to the post office i'm actually not i mean i'm starting to feel a little bit better like i can tell the bugs kind of working its way out um autumn got to go to school today which is nice i don't even know if i talked about this because honestly i've been trying to recuperate myself because i work tomorrow and i cannot afford to keep calling in <laughs> For, I mean, not only paycheck reasons, which I guess is why most people can't afford to keep calling in, but because we get points at work, and for every call in, it's one point, and I don't want to keep getting points, you know? I've already been out two of my scheduled shifts because of Autumn, and so tomorrow, since Autumn got to go to school today, she no longer has upper respiratory stuff, she's not contagious, she's had solid bathrooms um she was good to go to school so and she missed four days which is quite a lot thank goodness she's only in pre-k three because if she were any higher like if the big girls had to miss four days that would be very detrimental to their work so uh, i'm hoping and praying nobody else gets it but um so she since she got to go to school today i don't have to call in tomorrow because of her so because of that i am going to try and make it at work. I'm pretty much in control. I'm sorry, I know this is TMI. If you've ever had a stomach bug, you know, it is what it is. But I'm pretty much in control of everything, so um, I'm just gonna try and stick it out and hope for the best, and hope I don't have an accident, to be frank. <laughs> so, I think I'll be okay, though. I never, the contraction stopped last night, um, so I never felt like I needed to go into the hospital, into my triage unit or anything like that. Um, I feel pretty good. I've been alternating Gatorade and water, like I have a Gatorade right now, just to try and keep my electrolytes up. Gatorade is a hit or miss though because it's super salty, so not only does it keep your electrolytes up, but it also kind of makes you retain sodium so I have to be careful with it but anytime I've been dehydrated or have been on keto I haven't kept up with my electrolytes as much and I get dehydrated very easily so I'm trying really hard to just alternate and drink 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 the extra fluids probably don't help with my stomach problems but I would rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them does that make sense because I don't want to end up Especially because I'm pregnant. I don't want to end up in the hospital because that's the first place I'll end up if I You know get dehydrated and I don't want that I, I Don't have time to be sitting in the hospital until baby girls ready to get here and on top of everything I want to feel better we have a busy weekend this weekend and so I work tomorrow, I have to do homework on Friday, Maddie's special day is on Saturday, their party is on Sunday, there's no school on Monday, and we're taking Lola to the vet to get fixed, and Tuesday is Maddie's actual birthday, so we'll go have lunch with her and bring cupcakes to her class. So it's just a busy, like, next four or five days, and I volunteered, I only work one day next week because of all the festivities going on, and 
next Friday I volunteered at the girls' school to be the school nurse. Isn't that cool? I won't actually, I guess for liability reasons, I won't actually be doing what the school nurse does, but um, I'll be assisting. I don't know if she's gonna be out or what's going on, but I think it's pretty cool. So I have a busy week and I have three tests in a row after next week that I have to start studying for, so I can't afford to be sick anymore. <laughs> I need to like get a move on. Come on, buddy, get it together. So I'm trying just to go about my day and rest when I can. After we dropped off Autumn at school, she was only a little bit late. Um, we dropped her off at school, came back, and the rest was studying. I watched some sh some, sh some shows. <laughs> I watched watched some shows on the couch and relaxed, and then I ended up falling asleep about 1:30, and until now. So I took like a two-hour nap. So hopefully I can go to sleep tonight, but. I needed it. I didn't sleep very well last night because I was up and down to the bathroom and today has been better so I'm can you know continuing to hope for the best. Um, when I'm gonna go drop off the last bit of my thank you notes, some nails, and check my P.O. box because I've got messages saying that I have packages there from you guys so I'm gonna go check that and then go pick up the big girls, go pick up Autumn and we are doing leftovers for dinner tonight. I need to see if I have any like cheese bread. I have um, pasta left over from yesterday that I'm going to doctor up because it didn't taste that great coming from the freezer. If you guys have any suggestions for reheating from the freezer, like pasta dishes and stuff like that, anytime, like the last time I did the lasagna and this time that I did the meat pasta, both times the cheese got super charred on top when I like vented, I tinted the tin foil and it still charred the cheese and it didn't even cook all the way through. So I either need to Google it or maybe you guys have an idea. Anytime we have frozen dishes like that, how do you re, do you, th are you supposed to thaw them out first and then just reheat them with the foil? Because it's not happening for us. It That light literally turned red and no one even got to go that's so weird so I don't know I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong but so I'm just gonna doctor it up I'm gonna throw it on the stove with some more sauce a little bit of sauce and some cheese that I have left over in the fridge that needs to be used up anyway and that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight if the girls want I can make another salad I have salad stuff so yeah, that's what it is. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need to go grocery shopping this week for shelf timber, which is kind of cool. I think we have enough, especially being that the weekend is gonna be a big out weekend for us at least. Like Autumn and Matt and Emmy are gonna be with my mom on Saturday. So we'll have breakfast together as a family. We'll go do Maddie's special day and have lunch with her and then we'll have dinner together as a family. And then we're gonna be at their birthday party on Sunday and um, that's going to be all eating out so probably most of the day maybe dinner we'll do at home but yeah we're doing that and then I mean Tuesday is October <laughs> so shelf timber will be done I may continue it on for a little while um, but like I mentioned earlier there's some good deals at Costco where we are still going to be good on food. I know it. It's just something in me doesn't want to like drain all of our food stock that we have because then I'm just gonna have to have a big restock again. And I don't want that. I want to be able to jump right back into like $150 a week. So we'll see. But that's what's been on my mind today. Thank you guys for your continued thoughts and prayers and well wishes and everything. I mean, we're hanging in there. We're doing okay. Luckily, I got Autumn better. She's, you know, big. Anytime your baby's sick, it's always a big concern. So far, the big girls are doing okay. So far, the rest is okay. Um, it was just me, which was to be expected because I was the one around her the most. Um, just unfortunately, I'm pregnant, so that's hard. Because normally, if you're not pregnant, like if Andres had gotten something, he could take medicine. And but, you know, it is what it is. So. Anyway, trying to go about my day and hoping by this weekend it's 100% better. Save the pasta by refreshing it with, refreshing, ref, refreshing, yeah, that sounds right. 
refreshing it with some pasta sauce I had in the uh, cabinet already and I'm just gonna put some more cheese on it and um, we're gonna go from here while I'm letting my dinner reheat the girls are getting changed having Emmy check the freezer see if we have some uh, some Texas toast I don't even know if we do I have some packages from the P.O. box I was not expecting this many packages from the P.O. box huh you want toast I have to see if I have some if not I could make regular toast with None? Okay, go ahead and just grab a ham, please. Yeah, like sandwich meat, grab a ham. Um, so I thought while I'm waiting for this to cook up, I would open them. This one is from Sally. Ooh, I see something good. Oh my gosh, she is so awesome. Look at this. Red vines, and it's so funny because when I was at Dollar Tree, I ended up getting the black licorice, but I really wanted to pick up some red vines. That is so sweet! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! And these super cute Batgirl outfits. How freaking adorable is that? Sally, you didn't have to do that. She wrote another note. I couldn't help it, Sally. Thank you. This one is from Amanda. You guys are so sweet. I thought we were like headed towards the end of gifts. My goodness. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute. Oh, how cute is that? OMG. This is 18 months, but how stinking cute. Oh, I love it. That is so sweet. Thank you, Amanda. Oh my gosh. So a little mini bathing suit. And that is so cute. And some onesies from Carter's. These are six to 12 months. Super cute. Floral, you guys know me so well. Yellow with the heart print on it and some flowers. And a best smile ever onesie. And some, uh, I almost said hair ties. And some head wraps. So cool, thank you Amanda. This one is from Christina. Doesn't have a return address, so it just says Christina. Maybe in the packing slip. Yes, Christina from New Jersey. Three to six month outfit. Oh my gosh, from the children's place. So the children's place is a new place for us. We don't shop there too frequently. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute is that? <laughs> how cute! Oh my goodness, it's a full onesie. It looks like it has a fox on it, or maybe a deer. It's not a, de it's not a fox, it's a deer. That has a tutu and little feet. Oh, I love it. That's for baby sister. It's so cute, right? Oh my goodness, thank you, Christina. That was so sweet. This one is from Kohl's. So I've never got anything from Kohl's. Let me see if it says, from Jessica in Texas. That's so cool, I've never got anything from Kohl's. So I didn't know how I would come. Looks like some outfits. Oh my goodness, how cute. So this is Carter's brand, six month onesie. I love the color. You see what she does? That is so cute. I love the ruffling detail. Oh my goodness, and it has pants to it. How <laughs> cute. I love the navy. Oh, little girl clothes are so fun. This one's three months. Oh my goodness. Amazing little sister. And this one came with pants too. Nothing, baby. I'm just showing the clothes. Nothing. How <laughs> tiny. Oh my goodness. It's tiny. Oh, and this purple onesie is three months also. Look how cute. It's a little jammy. <laughs> that is so cute. Thank you, Jessica. You love it? Yeah. Oh, it's for baby sister. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Your baby sister's coming to your party? Yes. Well, I hope so. She's in mommy's belly. What? what? This one's from Amazon, so I think this may be from Lisa. 
set. It actually didn't come with a card, but she sent me a picture of these, so I'm assuming they're from her. They are sleepers. We love these sleep sacks so much. This is a medium, so it's actually for when she gets a little bit older, which is nice, probably around six months. I have a couple of newborn ones, so that's so cute. I love this. It's super soft. It has clouds and elephants on it. So cute, and then the one that came with it is a striped one with a little cloud. Oh, you guys are amazing. Thanks so much, Lisa. I was very surprised. I mean, I've been receiving a lot of packages from Amazon and from Target here at the house, but I'm so surprised to receive all this in my P.O. box. Thank you guys so, so much. And I got some notes from you guys too. Tiffany sent me this note. Thank you so much, Tiffany. You're so sweet. That honestly is like super sweet. And you're right, we usually connect over nails, but I'm so grateful to have you guys in my life. This is a very pretty card too, thank you. And then Natalie sent a birthday card for Maddie. So sweet, Natalie is so awesome. Thank you guys. We're getting some fresh air since it doesn't feel like we're going to die out here. Actually, believe it or not, it's still 94, which is insane. Our weather is crazy here. Fall, no. This is not fall, this is still summer. And this is well into October. This is October one, two, three, four. We're still in the high 80s, low 90s. I see you. So I wanted to clean the kitchen. Emmy came to plant a plant. They have a candy corn. I see you, you're swinging. And instead of cleaning the kitchen, I decided to get some fresh air with my girls. <laughs> Happy National Daughter Day! <laughs> that was not your birthday. Oh, well, it's almost sort of. Well, her birthday already passed. Y'all's party is this weekend. Mommy. Yeah. Okay, now it's recording. There you go. Hey. Put on, put it on your face. Right there. there. You go. Say good night to you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night to you tomorrow. Boop. See <laughs> see. I do. You gotta turn it around. You gotta turn it around. Remember. Turn it. Look. There you go. Make now sure you Sissy. see Sissy's face. Okay, can Sissy see Sissy's face? Okay. Can I see tomorrow? Boop. Amia. Yeah. Dammy. A bad dog, Amy. Good. Not in there. Yes? Oh. <laughs> Amy. Good night. See you tomorrow. Boop. I know my hair is looking crazier and crazier throughout the day. I don't know why it gets like that. It's like fine and then all of a sudden it turns into this. I don't know. I just got done editing the vlog. It's uploading right now. The big girls are taking turns cleaning. They're helping each other clean their rooms. And when I mean clean, I mean deep clean because oh, Maddie, oh my gosh. I don't know what the heck. This is exactly why I got a trundle for Emmy's bed because I told Andres, I was like, if we don't get a trundle, everything in her room is gonna end up under her bed. And that's exactly how Maddie's is. She has like a little gap, maybe like five inches, six inches under her bed. And literally they just got done cleaning it out. They're trying to get one of her Hey guys, good afternoon. Today has been another recuperating day. <laughs> I am trying so hard to beat this. It, it's just not, it's not working. Um, I halfway admitted myself into triage yesterday because I was working and I got an IV to get some hydration because even at work yesterday, and I almost called in, I messaged the charge nurse that was our charge yesterday. I messaged her the night before and I was like, hey, like I'm not gonna call in. I really wanna go to work, but I'm still struggling you know, just like a heads up. And she's like, why don't you try and be on call? I'm like, I don't really wanna skip over people. That defeats the purpose of not calling in because we have a book. I don't know if you, maybe if you're a nurse, you know this or you guys do the same thing. We have a book that we request like if we wanna be on call or sent home early and we go in the order. So if other people are in the book, if somebody calls out that, I mean, you kind of had just skipped over everybody. And so I told her, I was like, I really don't want to make anyone mad. Like, if anything, I'll go home 
early sick if you're sending people home, but don't mind my sports bra. <laughs> it's been a rough day. Um, but so I told her, I was like, I, I don't really want to make, I've already called in for two shifts. I really don't want to do it again. So I was like, I'm going to try and stick it out. And I was fine all morning until about 2.30. I had a late lunch. And so I've been trying to like watch what I eat not try I'm trying not to eat too many fatty greasy things it's not happening all that well but I'm trying not to like exacerbate the situation and so around 2 30 it started to get bad and I had a delivery and if you've ever seen a delivery been in a delivery had a baby yourself or you're an LND nurse you know that Babies don't wait. They don't care if you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> they don't wait. So in the middle of my delivery, the charge nurse catches the baby. So like we always have a second nurse there for delivery just in case something happens. There are two of us before NICU gets there. And so she was there with me. And right when my patient was pushing, I'm coaching her through her. I looked at her and I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. Like I'm going to have an accident. I have to go. And she's like, are you serious? Just try and breathe. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. And so like, as soon as I wrapped up the delivery, I had to run to the bathroom again. It was awful. And then that just kind of like opened up everything. And <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so anyway, that's how my day went yesterday. The whole rest of the night was awful. I luckily I had got hydration like kind of mid shift yesterday so I'm hoping that helps a little bit but I still I'm still recuperating it is what it is so I haven't I didn't even wash my hair I took a shower just because I wanted to feel clean but like my hair has been it's like three days old now I really need to do something with it I had so many plans for today so many because this week it is going to be very busy. I wanted to get the house cleaned up, get laundry done. I wanted to go get a pedicure because my toes are looking rank. I wanted to go to Michael's and look for a garland to wrap on our banister and some planner supplies because I've been thinking about switching over to a happy planner. And so I wanted to go look at that. And there were two other things I wanted to do. The post office, one other thing. I can't remember, but Clearly none of it happened, none of it happened. I have been trying to recuperate myself all day long. Between resting, relaxing, trying to keep myself clean, and eating something to make it go away, and nothing. Um, luckily, I mean, I talked to my OB because I work with her and she said that's pretty much all I can do is just keep myself hydrated. I was like, I already got hydration. <laughs> what else do I do? She's like, that's all you can do is just kind of ride it out. So Autumn had her first like super solid bowel movement today. Sorry again, TMI. I'm sure a lot of you are moms and even if you aren't, probably tired of hearing me talk about this. I promise it'll pass. And I'm hoping we don't continue to drag it on any longer so from her first sign it was one two three four today was day nine so I'm kind of hoping that's gonna be the same thing for me I know I read some of y'all's comments and a lot of you said that the same thing was going around for you guys and it was about a week so I'm hoping because I feel like I'm able to control it a little bit more maybe a week Saturday night or Sunday morning will be a week. So here's hoping, my goodness. So anyways, like I said, needless to say, I didn't get anything done today. So I'm gonna have the girls help me when I get home. Just again too, because being pregnant and not feeling good, I already, being pregnant, you already stay slightly dehydrated. You already, your bone, like I came home from work yesterday because I ended up staying the whole shift. I came home from work yesterday limping my hips and my back hurt so bad because i had i was my patient was all the way at the back of the unit the bathroom was up at the front i walked to and from that bathroom so many times that my hips were killing me my back was killing me so i woke up this morning already sore i woke up super early i had to get all the girls friday is always like i'm by myself because andres has school in the morning 
and he usually works at night and so I got him all up and ready got him to school and then luckily I was able to just rest most of the day on and off napped so I'm hoping tonight the girls will work with me after dinner and we can get some stuff done uh, around the house and I can kind of prep a little for the weekend oh my gosh I look awful <laughs> prep a little for the weekend and my errands and stuff aren't a big deal because next week I don't work on Monday because the girls are out of school so I know we have a busy like Saturday and Sunday but Monday other than l dropping off Lola to her vet appointment we don't have anything to do I don't think so I know I can get some of my errands and the house caught up and stuff like that so I'm not too too worried about it I'm really trying to focus on getting myself better and it's just not happening as quickly as I'd like I do have however a case study that I wanted to try and get done tonight so I don't have to worry about doing it tomorrow so picking up the girls a little bit early today that way I can get a head start on dinner and everything and we're not running behind like every other night okay it's not like honey because it is autumn autumn huh do you know mama show our faces good night see my boo good night see my boo in autumn here autumn I'll turn it on for you mom here. Okay. Say goodnight. See you tomorrow. Okay, my love. I do. I do. <laughs>